Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tower. I hope everyone is well. Uh, it's that time of the week again. It's time for the weekend top and bottom of the deck. Um, I apologize for anyone who was looking forward to this past Monday's work week top and bottom. Um, there was some issues with um, the old man. Um, for those of you who have been following the channel since the beginning, the old man is the very ancient tabby cat that you occasionally see coming around. So, um, he was very, very sick last weekend and, um, yeah, well, I'll just come right out with it. He was vomiting all over the place. So, uh, that's not something you want to hear in the background <laughs> when you're trying to watch a tarot reading. So, once that got resolved, he's better now. Um, I took him to the vet the other day, and he is actually the picture of health, other than having a mild stomach ailment. So, he's good, we're good, and we're throwing him down again. So, without further ado, for those of you who are new here and don't know how we do this, I go by the elements. It is Leo season. Leo is a fire sign, so I'll go fire, earth, air, water, and around the wheel accordingly. It's same as a sun sign reading. If it resonates, cool. If it doesn't, check your moon rising or Venus sign reading. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Cross watchers are always welcome. So without further ado, let's get them thrown down. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what's going on for you guys this weekend? The King of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Well, okay. New communication coming in. Possibly, you know what? This may be a catch. Strong, stable, probably got his crap together, her crap together. Don't mind the sex of the card. It's, it's the energies coming off of it. Good deal. All right. Okay. Well... Sometimes to see what the future holds, we have to see what the past had for us. So, in the past, we have the sun in the upright, the emperor in the reverse. Well, okay. Strong, powerful connection. Sunshine, it made you happy, but this emperor in the reverse, I don't know. Things may have been a little bit out of control for some of you. The person you were dealing with or yourself could have been a little bit vulnerable. Maybe perhaps that's why you felt you were in the connection because you were in a vulnerable state. We'll get some clarity in a minute. A little bit closer to the here and now. Oh. The moon in the reverse and the five of cups. Well, possibly things became illuminated and you saw things for how they actually were instead of the rose-colored glasses you were wearing in this connection. Sometimes it's the rose-colored glasses we're looking through that make us seem happy. Okay, well... Into a state of sadness you go. All bummed out over three spilt cups and maybe not seeing the two cups of blessings left behind. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's see what this weekend has. Six of swords, nine of cups. Bam! Fire signs, yes! Yes! Onward and upward. Moving forward. Finding your happiness again with the Nine of Cups. Mmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get a little bit of clarity. Just a tad. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for our fire sign friends for this weekend, please?
we're go not going to beat dead horses here. I just have a question on a couple of these cards. So, why is the Emperor reversed here? Queen of Pentacles reversed. Out of control. Clingy. Needy. Possibly emotional. And maybe this person had a lot of emotional ups and downs. I'm declining this call for now. Hmm. Maybe they forced you into a lot of emotional ups and downs. Okay. Why is the moon reversed here? Nine of swords reversed. Things being illuminated. And all of a sudden you're not giving it a second thought. One more. Or you're going completely bat crap bonkers about it. One of the two. Could be bat crap bonkers with this five of cups. Seven of cups reversed. Confusion. Why? 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 Why did it go wrong? It was going so well. No, it wasn't. You were looking through rose-colored glasses. You were not seeing the forest in the trees. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Thanks. Two cards. King of Pentacles upright, Ten of Cups reversed. Oh. Watch out! <laughs> Happiness is coming. But I don't think you should rush this with this King of Pentacles. You got two of them. This is a catch, but this is not something you can go quickly with fire signs. You gotta take this slow. Because if you don't take this slow, you may end up kicking those cups over before they're even full. Okay? Okay, let's get some quick advice. King of Swords, Page of Swords. Don't let your emotions run away from you with this one. You need to look at this very logically. Okay. Put some thought into it. Don't force or push it. Just let communication happen. Talk. Get to know each other. Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles. You need to remember to close out whatever this sadness crap was and release that burden. And I think this Page of Pentacles is self-forgiveness. You were looking through rose-colored glasses, friend. You didn't see what was there. That doesn't mean it's anybody's fault. Take the lesson you're supposed to learn, learn it, and move forward. Slowly. Slowly. Don't hit the gas pedal on this one. <laughs> Leave it in park for a minute. Mm. Ten of Pentacles in the Fool. This has the potential for great abundance. This may well be the path you're supposed to go down. And it's okay to jump. But not so quickly. Take your time with it. These things build slowly. Okay. Okay. 
Eight of Cups, Four of Pentacles. <sighs> Move on from it. And if you're going to take anything with you and hold on to anything, again, hold on to the lesson that you were supposed to learn from this fire sign, friends. Okay? Okay. All right. Good talk. Good talk. All right. Sort out here. It's my stepsister calling. I'm going to have to call her back when I'm done here. Hopefully she has my nephew's football schedule for this year so I know what Friday nights I have to take off to go watch some high school football. Give that a quick shuffle. Set that aside. All right, let's move on to our earth sign friends. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What does the universe have in store for you this weekend? King of Swords, King of Cups. That's confliction. Is someone conflicted? That's logic and honesty and intelligence mixed with very deep emotion and a very full cup for someone. Wow. Okay. Well, let's sort it out, shall we? What happened? Six of swords in the world. Okay. All right. Well, you packed up those thoughts and those feelings. You moved forward. Maybe they didn't. The cycle came to a close. A new cycle began. Okay. It happens. It's part of life. It's part of spiritual growth. It's what we're here for. It's why, the, it's why we play the game, guys. Spiritual growth. Ascension. All that 5D happy jazz. Know what I'm saying? Where are we at now? We've walked the spiritual path. We're walking it right now. Finding that inner life could be a Virgo you're dealing with, with this Hermit card, perhaps a water sign or an air sign, maybe a fixed sign. Great connection. That's amazing. You've walked the path of enlightenment. You've found this wonderful connection after you've had to close something out. Maybe you're a little bit skittish, that's why you're conflicted, because you've learned a lesson. You don't want to rush. You don't want to blow with the wind. Okay. Well, what's happening this weekend? The High Priestess and the Three of Pentacles. Your intuition is speaking to you this weekend. Or it's going to. This is a hell of a connection right here. Possibly something you manifested. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Great foundation here. Foundation for something abundant and wonderful. All right. Well, let's get a little bit of clarity. Because obviously you're conflicted if you're showing up as the King of Swords and the King of Cups right now. Universe, Taurus, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my Earth sign friends, please? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for this weekend.
We know about this. I'm leaving that alone. These are the two I'm going to beat to death tonight. Why is the high priestess here? Nine of Wands. Reverse. Walls are going to come tumbling down. I like it. You've learned the lesson you were supposed to learn the last time you went around like this with somebody. That last connection that came to a close. You've taken the spiritual path. You've learned the lesson you were supposed to learn. You, you introspected. You dealt with your feelings and emotions. Now you're ready to give that cup again. Walls are going to come tumbling down. This is powerful. This is amazing. This is awesome. I love it. I love it. One more on that. Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Must be I open up. I am reading. What? Mm. Exit. We'll deal with it in a minute. Okay. I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go. 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 Ace of Pentacles. I love it. I love it. That's amazing. That is the beginning of something abundant. This is the first of three. All right. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Knight of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. It's going to be a slow mover. Six of Cups. This may be somebody you've known for a while. Sometimes those are even better. Ten of Pentacles. I'm, I'm done beating the horse. Because it's not going to get any more beautiful than this. Earth signs. Y'all going to have it going on this weekend. Some of you may well meet the one. I mean, this this is amazing. I'm so happy for you. So happy for you. We're going to get your advice. Because good advice should always be involved in this. Okay. Five of Swords, Reverse, Two of Pentacles, in the Upright. King of Pentacles, Prince of Pentacles, okay. I'm not a firm believer in leaving anything hanging out there or leaving anything unsaid, but in this instance, according to the cards, it may well just serve you best to leave the pieces sitting there of the last connection. It's closed. It's done. You moved on from it. Don't go back and try to pick anything up, especially if you're to a place of balance through the introspection and you're okay. Don't revisit that because revisiting it is not going to help you move forward with this awesomeness that is headed for you. This is like an awesomeness freight train and you're standing at the depot and it's coming. So you best be ready to hop on that train when it gets there because we just got the catch cards. King of Pentacles, Prince of Pentacles. Maybe a little bit of an age difference. I don't know. We'll see what comes out of it. But slow moving. Take it slow. Absolutely take it slow. Don't try to rush this. This definitely has the potential to be something very abundant and very wonderful. But this cannot be rushed.
Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups. Commit if you're ready, but make sure you're ready. The time is going to come when it's time to hit that gas pedal. That time might not be right now, but I wouldn't walk too far away from the depot. Ace of Swords reversed and the Magician. You called this in. You manifested this. Mm hmm. You totally manifested this. The Ace of Swords reversed goes back to the Five of Swords reversed. Don't go revisiting things from your past. Leave those alone. Continue to cut those out. Because you have an abundance freight train heading for you. And it's going to be wonderful. But don't rush it. Please don't rush it. Okay, Earth sign friends, that's what I have for you. What the cards have for you. Good luck. Absolutely. Super happy for you. Okay. Okay. Air sign friends. What do we have for air sign friends this upcoming weekend? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's coming in for you guys? Chariot in the upright, fool in the reverse. Oh boy. It's a card of distance. It, it can be the chariot can be a card of being pulled in two different directions. With that full reverse, some of you may not know which direction to go in, and you may not trust your own judgment right now. So, let's figure out what's up with that. What happened? Oh, two of cups upright, three of swords reverse. There was a grand connection. This is a connection that brought you out of a state of heartbreak. You know what I like to call those? A band-aid. Oh, the happy band-aids. What happened after that? Ace of wands upright, seven of wands in reverse. Wow! That happened quick, didn't it? That, that, that's a quick strike and match right there. Things got real, real quick. Things may have gotten even a little bit out of control. What happened after that? What's coming in this weekend? Page of Cups, King of Pentacles. Hmm. I want to know what's up with this Page of Cups. Before I find out what's up with this Page of Cups... I'm going to move that out of the way. There's something between here and here that's a mish. Hold on. I know what happened there. Why is the Seven of Wands reversed here is what I want to know. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for my air sign friends, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, for this weekend? Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit, so much for hanging out with us today. You wanted to come out right away, didn't you? Oh, karma in the reverse. Gee. Oh, what else came out? Knight of Cups. Things got a little out of control. With this karma in the reverse, there may have been a return. 
somebody possibly came back. That little message, that cup of love. They miss you. Where have you been? We haven't talked in a while. Because they're constantly in and out of your life. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Maybe some walls came tumbling down. Hmm. Six of Cups reversed came out. Maybe this is someone you have some salty feelings toward. But the walls came tumbling down anyway when they returned, didn't they? Why is the Page of Cups here for this weekend, please? It's okay, I wouldn't trust my judgment either. You know how many total jerks I have let walk back into my life just because it made me feel good for five seconds? I'm not judging. I'm not going to judge you when I've done the same darn thing myself. It, when it landed, it was kind of half upside down. Yeah, chariot reversed. Messages of love trying to close a gap. One more. Ace of Cups. Somebody wants a new start, wants a do-over. Oh boy. No wonder you're torn not knowing what to do and not trusting your own judgment. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Ace of Swords. Hmm. That Ace of Swords is in the reverse. Eight of Swords in the upright. <laughs> One more. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Swords. We have a matched pair. You know what I think is going to happen this weekend? I think old, uh, don't want to commit keeps coming in and out of your life they're going to come back in one last time and you're going to say you know what um i already got a catch i'm good it's not going to be easy but i think you're gonna um give somebody the old heave ho because they've already wrapped you up more than once and you've about uh, had enough of it and that's what i think's going to happen mm -hmm. because you got a match striking with somebody new who's actually um Abundant, who's actually, uh, yeah, there's potential there. I like it. I like it. We'll see what happens for you. The devil in the upright, the queen of pentacles in the reverse, coming out as your advice. If you're connected to something that's a little oppressive and there's some obsessive toxic energy there, don't let it put you in a state of codependency. Don't let it think that you need it because you don't. You're the catch. You need to stay in the upright, friends, because there's a catch waiting for you that isn't this. That isn't something that came in and made you feel good for five seconds. Okay. Mm. The Hierophant in the reverse and the Eight of Wands in the upright. Not every connection is meant to be a blessed one. Not every connection is meant to stay, and sometimes the wind takes them. 
as fast as it brought them in. And that's okay too, because that's forward movement. And it is what it is. Connections are not always meant to stay. Sometimes connections just come in to move us forward down the path that we're supposed to go down, and that's a beautiful thing. Emperor in the verse, Ten of Wands in the upright. If a connection has continually weighed you down and made you feel vulnerable, it's time to shed it. It's time to leave it at the doorstep where you found it. Absolutely. It's time to just, you know, return some negative energy. Say, I don't want you anymore. You've done nothing but weigh me down. I'm putting my bundle of sticks down right here and I'm walking away. That's okay. Because sometimes those bundle of sticks get real heavy when we're trying to go down a path of abundance. Four of cups in the upright, two of wands in the upright. Be mindful of what's in the cup. But don't ignore the cup. Specifically, don't ignore the cup because you're stuck on a past cup. The universe is trying to hand you something new. Don't not reach for the cup because you're looking down at three spilt cups holding onto a rod behind you instead of trying to reach for the rod that's in front of you and move forward and reach up at a cup. So you don't have four hands. At least most of us don't. I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> Be careful what you put your attention on because you may just miss a boat or a cup or a rod or whatever. Mm. Pay attention. Open your eyes. Okay. That's what I have for my air sign friends today for this weekend. What about our water sign friends? Cancer Pisces Scorpio. What's going on with you guys this weekend? Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Eights, Eights, Eights. Moving and shaking this weekend, guys. Working your tails off. Maybe you're doing some inner work. Take it out it resonates. Nice, I like it. I wonder what happened. death in the four of wands. Four of wands is in reverse. Death is in the upright. The winds have changed blue. Spiritual metamorphosis may have occurred. Maybe some doors slammed shut for you. Okay. Well, if the door is closed, maybe this foundation was shaky anyway. Okay. What happened after that? Two of swords reversed in the nine of cups. Some of you may have had to make a difficult decision. For your own happiness. You know what that means? That means you loved yourself first. And that is not always a bad thing. Loving yourself first is not being selfish. It's not. I don't know all the details. The cards aren't giving me very many details right now. But loving yourself first is not selfish. We'll get clarity in a second. It's going to happen this weekend. Mmm, ten of swords reversed and the fool reversed. It's 
sun's not shining and you're not trusting yourself. Some of you may be just consuming yourselves with work and moving in chicken, trying not to think about something. Hmm. All right. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity in the cards? I'm a tip for my water sign friends, please. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for the upcoming weekend. Huh. Okay. Right on. Whoop. Why is two swords reversed here? Two of cups reversed. Difficult decision to disconnect. One more. Five of Swords. Difficult decision to disconnect and pick up pieces. Love yourself first. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Queen of Wands. Onward and upward moving forward. I like it. Now to the part I don't like so much. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed here? Sun's not shining. You're not trusting yourself. Ten of Wands reversed. Ace of Swords, okay, okay. Possibly some new commun communication coming in, but I don't like this Ten of Wands reversed and this Ten of Swords reversed. One more. Maybe this new communication coming in will help the sun shine again at some point. Maybe it will help you release this burden. <laughs> Three of Swords, you're still heartbroken. Duh. Duh. I think this weekend you're processing. Maybe you're going out, communicating, moving and shaking. Or maybe you're doing a little self work this weekend. I'm going to say it again. You're working on you. Processing through this. Why is the full reverse here? Emperor in the upright. You know you're larger than charge. You're getting your mojo back this weekend, but you're still not trusting yourself. One more. The Hermit, the Nine of Swords reversed, and death again. Okay. You're getting your sea legs back. Doing a little introspection, a little soul evolution, getting your mojo back, putting it out of your head. You're processing. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. You're not getting caught up in your emotions so much this weekend. That's a good thing. Let's get your advice, dear friends. Two of Cups in the upright, Four of Pentacles in the reverse. I've said it a thousand times. People coming into our lives, sometimes for a purpose, and once that purpose is over and done, they leave. Okay, it's all well and good. Sometimes people come into our lives and stay. But don't hang on to connections that don't serve your highest good. You need to release these. If it's meant to come back, it will. 
If it is not, it won't. It's that easy. Maybe I'm just a Sagittarius, but it is that easy. Release the burden. Once you release the burden, the sun will shine again. Self-doubt is a burden. The sun reversed, the king of pentacles reversed. Don't blame yourself. Do not blame yourself for this disconnect. This was I don't think this was anybody's fault. Even just reading the cards, it just wasn't anybody's fault. You evolved past each other. It wasn't meant to be. That doesn't make you any less a catch. It doesn't make them any less a catch. You just warn each other's catches. And it is what it is. Just stop, smell the roses, turn your sun right side up, and allow the sun to shine again in your life. Page of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. I like this. You know why I like this? Because you need to move forward, keep on trucking for that new start in abundance. If you just plop yourself down and wallow in your own self pity, you're not going to start anything new, are you? You're going to stay stuck. And nobody wants to stay stuck. It's, it's okay to be sad. I'm not saying that's not okay. But don't stay there. The Ten of Pentacles in the upright and the world in the reverse. You have wonderful abundance coming for you. wonderful abundance but if you don't allow this cycle to end you don't you don't get your abundance it's that simple all things have potential it's what you do with it it's the work you put into yourself and the work you put into it and how fast you're willing to move forward I'm not saying hit a gas pedal that's not what I'm saying go at a healthy pace and that's okay all right that's what i have for you guys this week you guys are amazing thank you so much for stopping by i appreciate you i'll see you guys sunday night monday morning for the work week and i'm doing it next week provided nothing else serious or no more family drama happens. Talk soon.